Ed Padgett here, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're gonna to find tons of information on scoliosis, back pain, lifestyle medicine. Just check out the playlists and you'll find exactly what you're looking for. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about a movement for a reverse S-shape scoliosis. So you've got to imagine I've got a reverse S-shaped scoliosis, okay? So this top curve is going to be coming over here like this, and the bottom curve is going to be over here like this. And I want to try and influence both curves at once. So this looks a little bit like a yoga move here. What we're going to do, we're going to take a, uh, a chair, and we're going to work the bottom curve first. So simply I'm going to put one leg up on here. Now it does involve a little bit of hip mobility to be able to do this. So what we want to do here is push this hip, which is my left hip, up towards my left armpit. This starts to correct that curve, that lower curve from the bottom up. Now, we wanna work out how to correct this upper curve from the top down. So the apex is towards the uh, ceiling here, towards the top, right, on my right hand side. It also has a rotation, which is gonna be my upper ribs on the right hand side are gonna be backwards. So if I was to take this hand forward, now I'm going to be pulling those ribs forwards with the musculature of my shoulder and the scapula. I keep the hips still, so I don't want any rotation going down to my lower abs here. They can come forward. Now one way to stop the rotation coming down into my, into my lower curve here is to actually tense these abs. So you can uh, pull on a little bit of a pelvic tuck, so that means I'm pushing my pelvis towards, towards you, flattening my back a little bit, tensing my abs, and now I'm keeping that rotation just in my upper curve. I'm using my head here as well to lead that movement because the head is gonna be the driver of the spine. So if I was doing this for a scoliosis, I would do 10 to 15 repetitions of that. Next, I want to influence the upper back in the sagittal plane, the forwards and backwards. So I take my hand here and I would move upwards and forwards. Again, trying to keep that movement as much as I can just into my upper curve. So I'm tensing my abdominals and I'm trying not to move my lower back. Lastly, we want to see what happens if we reach this hand down this way. Now you can imagine this curve is bent like this. It's gonna start straightening. So we can start to straighten this upper curve from the head and neck down towards the curve, but we don't want it going into the lower curve because it will make it worse. So again, we're going to tense the abdominals, we're going to be aware of movement here, and we're going to really keep that movement in the upper back. There's not much movement available to us in the thorax here, so don't expect huge movements like this because that's all going to be pivoting from down here. We're really just trying to move on an axis around where the apex of the curve is. And again, we're going to be doing 10 or 15 of those. Now to make it a little bit more interesting, we can think about breathing. So if my curve's like this, I want to breathe into um, my left lung here as I do this to open up this left side. So I'm gonna breathe in, hold, and then breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. And to all the phys physiologists out there, yes, I realize you can't breathe just into one lung, but you can put intention into opening up your left side. So breathe in and breathe out. Okay, and you would do that breathing into that left side for all the movements. So you would combine movement and breath through the rotations, through the sagittal plane flexion extension, and through the side bending or lateral flexion to correct the curve. So you've got three movements to influence the curve from the top down, and one movement to influence the bottom curve from the bottom up. I hope you enjoy that. Now, if you like these videos on scoliosis, on back pain, on lifestyle medicine, make sure you like this and subscribe. But also, if you have a question, just send me a personal message and I will get back to you like I always do. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video.